reason why we think Japan is one of the kindest countries in the world is that they absolutely love and adore their animals. Japan is the only country in the world that has more pets than babies and that is since 2003. They even have a statue of the dog Hachiko at Shibuya Station to commemorate his loyalty to his owner. There is another statue of Hachiko and his owner Hidesaburo Ueno at Tokyo University where they reunite. Hachiko is so famous that their books, animation, movies, about him nationally and internationally. Japan has the world's most pampered pooches. They have gourmet dog food stores, hot springs for dogs, restaurants where dogs can sit on chairs and eat organic meals. A lot of restaurants in Japan welcome dogs. They also have special menus for them. Sometimes these menus are prepared by vets such as this one. Unlike some countries where dogs aren't even allowed in parks, there are countless beautiful parks where dogs and other animals can enjoy in Japan. They get to enjoy nature, go on vacations. Japan Airlines recently launched a special flight that allows passengers to fly with their dogs in the main cabin. ANA also did a trial chartered flight and it was sold out in two days. They had a vet on board to make sure all the pooches are in the best condition. They also have package tours that allow owners and dogs to stay together in a hotel and go sightseeing in rented cars. So far, this is only available for domestic flights. In Japan, their pets can go shopping with their owners, they get photo sessions, massages, swimming lessons, bubble baths. Their spa sessions go above and beyond. They even have flossing, manicure services, workout sessions for their pets. Pets activities are super common in Japan. The pets in Japan are certainly very well groomed. They wear cute outfits. In certain areas, it's actually easier to find a daycare center for dogs and cats rather than for children. There are temples where their deceased animals are buried, sometimes with a deluxe funeral and cremation. They have laws to protect animals. For example, kittens and puppies cannot be removed from their parents for at least a certain amount of days. Animals cannot be put on display from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m and they're constantly trying to improve these laws to protect these furry animals. Have you ever noticed that there are no stray animals in Japan? If you do see one, they're most likely lost. Some rental apartments in Japan are not allowed to have pets. That's why there are a lot of pet cafes out there. For example, Dogs Cafe. Click here if you want to check out this cute Mame Shiba Cafe. They also have Hedgehog Cafes. Click here if you want to check that out. They also have the very first Kapabara Cafe in Japan in the Kichi Joji district. Click here if you want to check out their Owls Cafe. Of course, they also have Cats Cafe, Rabbits, Goat, Sheep, Parrot, Reptiles, even Pigs Cafe. They even have a new emergency kit supply for dogs in case of an earthquake. 7.8 trillion yen a year is spent to keep them happy. Japan treats their animals like members of their family. For those animals that are less fortunate, the Animal Refuge Kansai, Heart Tokushima, Japan Cat Network, Japan Animal Welfare Society do great work to help them. We have the links below, so please help them to help more animals. In conclusion, a country that treats their animals with tender love and care is a country with a big heart.